Hello Internet, I am the final boss and welcome to Sally Face. This is a indie game and it reminds me a lot of Fran Bow. If you've ever seen or played Fran Bow, it's been out for a little bit. It felt just like last time. Only this time it started in a hospital. Ooh. Okay. Let's answer the phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Uh, who is this? Come and find me. Um, sounded like my dad. Okay, so I guess we're looking for our dad. Oh, there we go. There's a key there. So I guess now we can probably get out the door. As you can see, what I, you see what I mean where I said it reminded me a lot of um, Fran Bo. This much like Fran Bo when it first came out is also just a first chapter demo type deal. What are in these rooms? Oh, this takes me. Okay. Um, three. There's a three at the end of this hallway. That doesn't sound good. What's at the end of this hallway? Nothing. Oh, okay. So it's a puzzle. We went through D first, and then we're probably trying to spell out a word, aren't we? Uh, D, is there an A? Hmm, well, that would mean it would have to be an O. Yeah, there, okay. And if we're spelling out a word, D-O... D-O-G would spell out dog. D-O-F. I don't think there's a D-O-H. I don't think there's any words like that. D-O-E. That's also a word. Uh, we'll go, we'll go G. Okay, perfect. Oh, we're at some sort of... Well, it looks kind of like it's a funeral. Oh, there's a dog. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. What? Go see for yourself. The dog buried something alive? Someone? Oh. I assume that's my mom. Batteries not included. So I need to get some batteries. Or maybe I'm just supposed to do the passcode. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. Oh. Oh. I really... <laughs> Oops. Who's this? This is my dad. You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. Wow. This is your fault. Uh, this is just dropping some real heavy stuff on us right off the bat. Mom, are you? Eesh. And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, you can... Can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one, the one from the apartment. Um, Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? That sounds like a pretty reasonable thing to do. Gizmos are cat. I see you made yourself already home. Yeah, Gizmo seems to be pretty happy there. Uh, so I take a break from unpacking? Not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. Uh, let's go with what he thinks about the place. It may not be as nice as a old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. Oh, I can do all of them. 
I know you do, bud, but at least try and give it a chance. School will start in a couple of weeks and you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have a friend, uh, have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too, buddy, me too. Try not to get into much trouble. Oh, ah, homeless guy. I'm sorry, I didn't think anybody lived up here. Hello, sir, are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and a dark place. This building, horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? That's odd. What? Okay. That didn't get any less odd. Oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little bit. You must be one of the new guys from 402. With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Please, pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. Take care. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Oh, hey, someone's there. I'm new in the building. I wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Oh, man. Hi, my name's Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is w with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family, got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Can I proceed to mess with any of his things? I can look at his collection. Uh, glitter ponies, a great accomplishment to have the full set. You can look all you want, but don't think about touching them. What's... Oh, God. I asked... I should not have asked that question. Why? <laughs> You've never seen My Glitter Pony's Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Uh, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. I already regret it. What about you? No one's home? Oh. Oh. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? Uh, stupid good-for-nothing kids. Wow, the people in this apartment building are really mean. Addison? Oh dear, what a frightful, uh, pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How might I be of a service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no, I'm afraid I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you'll understand. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just uh... Keep on invading other people's privacy. Oh, there's a detective. No one's home. Let's talk to the detective. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Why does everybody know this? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Was it murder? Ah, okay. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for an urgent maintenance need. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Is there anything to do for fun around here? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access from the elevator. Here, take this one. I have a few extras. So we now can go to the basement. I knew I had to go to the basement. I just thought I talked to her already, though. Anything interesting about laundry? <laughs> yeah, laundry machines suck. 
our public laundry machine suck. Let's make that a specific. We need to specify that. Tasty junk food. 1B. Oh yeah, just barge into the apartment. That's a great idea. Larry's room. Good idea. Don't lock your apartment, but keep your rooms locked. That's safety. What? What was that? Got some monster. This apartment is haunted. Let's knock on Larry's door. Yeah, huh? Uh, Larry, your mom said I could come. I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come in. Doors open. Oh, it's pretty good painter. Whoa, nice mask. It is definitely a pretty interesting mask. Ah, it's cool. I used to be much worse by. I'm used to much worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. So do you like have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad. I'm from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they all started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then they would not use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Haha, -ha, that's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. What happened in 403? Oh, can't talk about it. Why? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Okay. So he saw the killer. Okay, so I was helping Miss Sanderson with the clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I would wow. That is intense. Anyway, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned it up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom, but I trust you. Yes, me, the kid that you just met uh, three or four minutes ago. What's with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. He always talks with his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, and if you say Addison tea, please and thank you, to him he will give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. That's a police scanner. Why do you have a police scanner? Story for another day, but hey, you gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for that break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and not just messing up with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyway. Alright, so what's the plan? I call in a bank robbery? Jeez. Hostage situation and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until I figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. You can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a little bit more believable. Uh, take this, head to your room, and let me know when you're ready. Hit the shift button to call me. What happened to 403? I know there was a... Uh, how do you know that? And then there was another one. Who did it? Definitely Charlie. Okay. Let me call. It's done. Is there anything further down? <laughs> Leave it to me to mess with that. Ooh. Examine. Broken coffee table, some books. Just looks like junk. Gotta be something. Ah, here we go. There's these little figures. They look like one's missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. 
Hmm, that's it. I know how we can get him. Get out there and come down to the basement. Is it just going to cut to the basement? It sure is. That's a weird walk cycle. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mr. Sanderson got a super rare one or something. She was telling me about it the other day. I was fixing her toilet. Anyway, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offered her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. The guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murder. Exactly. That's why you gotta get to Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Uh, Charlie isn't too fond of me. No way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep tonight otherwise. Cool, you're the man, Sally. Here, here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get a feeling you've done this before? Ah, nah, I just watched too much TV. So we have the tea to be able to knock him out. And now we just... I was just preemptively going in there and knocking him out. Rare one. Uh, how am I supposed to know which one's the rare one? Right, so here's the T. So relaxing. Take a look. Ah, uh, crap. Maybe I need to get him a snack, too. Or not. How do I... Why can't I... Good luck. Uh, give Charlie some added tea. Put him right to sleep. It did, but only for a minute. If only we could make it stronger somehow. Oh. Okay. I got it. Got another cup from Anderson. Addison. I don't know if I can drink another drop today. I su Ooh, excuse me. As surprising as that sounds. Well, maybe. I don't want to overdo it. I probably had at least 20 cup. Jeez. Wow. Uh, okay. Let's try it. The line, this will definitely work. It is better than the original. Got the toy. I got the evidence. Can I try this room? How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everybody. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all his toys, and that's why I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Oh well. A little detective in training, huh? Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember, next time you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir. You got it. All right, now I can walk just a little bit further. Welcome home. And I can just leave. Let's talk to him, I guess. Good work today, Sal. Now you can rest easy. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. And then... No one was around, so I looked in the back window of the van. Ooh! That's brutal. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years old, and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. All these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. Oops. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convicted. I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same question all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. 
Wait, I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you let me help you. Trial? Put my face ba mask back on. I don't think you are a murderer, Sal. So now I'm being falsely accused. You might be the only one. What? Oh, and that's the end of the episode, too. Oh, man. That was exciting. I'm definitely going to be playing this game when it comes out. I have got to play it. This game is going to be so good. I hope that it meets the indie... Oh, I didn't even think I mentioned this yet. They're on Indiegogo. I will have that page linked in the description. Go there and throw a couple of dollars at them. That way this game can be completed. It, is, it looks like it's going to be such a good game. You can see where I was getting at whenever I said it reminded me of... Uh, Remind me of Fran Bo. It's got kind of the same style to it, and it's got kind of the same idea behind it. I'm really excited to see what goes on with it. Uh, gonna go ahead and end this video because I don't, there's nothing else to play. So if you like this video, leave a like, uh, subscribe to see the end of Sally Face. I, it won't happen for a while, but it'll happen eventually. If you uh, leave a comment saying what your favorite part of this video was. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I always do. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.